Years Later is a series where I take a look back on past pop culture and cinema and see if films that are 10 or more years older still hold up. This episode is Nacho Libre. It was released on June 16, 2006, so does it hold up? What year is it? Whoa, what? <gasps> 12 May, Thursday. What year? No, what? Year is it? Joe Libre. Now, I grew up watching this film quite a bit. Okay, maybe not quite a bit, but I remember going to my friend's house. He lived right across from the apartments for me, and I remember I watched this with him and his family where Nacho Libre came on. I haven't seen it since, and because maybe it's why I wanted to do this on his years later because it reminded me of very fond memories of way back in 2006, and it did most of the time because when I watch this movie, it is not a movie for me whatsoever, but because I watched this with my friends and his family right across from my apartment, so much fun and just fun memories where there's some dumb, now maybe not dumb but just some corny stuff like ridiculous stuff like the whole story movie is you know wanting the attraction and love from this nun who he wants to like really like tries to get the attention of her and so in order to do that he wants to wrestle and he loves wrestling from the very beginning of this movie he's a very chubby kid right and uh first of all that slapping scene of him was still kind of funny the nun slapping him to dry him off but anyways like his having a love for wrestling is stopped because of the church that he's going to and sort of religious aspects to it and like he has to follow orders and one day he's like you know what screw this he's gonna go wrestle and he does it's a sin to his own church thing he's doing it for is his passion and probably mainly of this nun girl and it's a love story i don't like any of that stuff but it just brings me to fond memories of it it reminds me of me watching a movie with my friend who sadly like moved out and his family so nacho who's like the character's name by the way is played by jack black who i like i haven't seen much of him because i grew up watching jack black but i don't remember the films that he's in i've only seen him in jumanji and like this movie he seems to be like a funny charismatic guy on his youtube channel and like just on like the talk shows he's just very fun to be around very charismatic brings that here where he's a stubborn grown man now who wants to have fun with wrestling not be at this church he sucks at cooking by the way his like dog pudding it, it looks like dog pudding but it's like really it, it looks like crap with like chips in there does not look good whatsoever that's gonna be a whole thing in the film as well but the food for the church funny for the church but he's lived his whole childhood life into adult life now where he misses this thing part of this thing called wrestling that he's missing and one night he's like you know what he's gonna wrestle but he asks this really one skinny scrawny guy who we get introduced by him attacking him selling chips which why would he go back to that guy i'm assuming this is only friend like there's a lot of questionable things but he has this guy to suit up and wrestling boots and gear and when night one despite them losing they get money and this starts a cycle of hey we're gonna go wrestle we're gonna lose and get our ass beat but we're gonna have money to buy clothes and fun for the church so once they get money they've been asking for something healthy at the church and so he gets all the kids in the church salad with salad dressing that's a big thing as an improvement on the church doing it for the kids and then buying new clothes for himself and out of all the kids my favorite is obviously the chubby one just like him where he asks him to help him there's no watching wrestling allowed in his shirt so when they put on wrestling big taboo thing like hey what are we doing we can't watch this and then he knows that nacho is nacho libre he builds his wrestling gear which is a montage as well which you know what i love me a good dumb montage and this movie had it so i really love that part and it looks good for like a luchador wrestler chubby kid sees it and he's a secret gives a hush hush he tries to hide it from everyone else but you know it is revealed later on he gets all burned up he did this very taboo sinful thing and it is even revealed he even tells the nun that he likes and but everyone in the church sees it they like send him for it why not he doesn't care he's gonna move on who cares he's gonna do what he loves and then i'm gonna try to i don't remember exactly how the opponents show up but they fight two little people and then they fight really just why would you want to mess with these two people that are tall but they fight them and then they fight some other people but i only remember those two but anyways the villain i guess for this movie is the most popular and main household luchador with the gold mask forgot his name but funny enough the only thing i remember okay maybe not the only thing but the one scene that stands out for me in this movie before watching it was this like massage scene the ladies put oil on him i don't know why like when i think of nacho libre i think of jack black and his ridiculous ass pose but also this scene for some weird reason don't know why i just do and then him coming out with a spark on the ladies next to him so we watching i'm like oh yeah that's such a small part in this film why did i remember that no idea but the whole thing about this luchador is that nacho libre kind of admires him in a way the whole don't meet your heroes because it'll ruin it for you same situation here. he's a complete asshole he just does not care kind of the driving force for him not only is he gonna beat this main luchador household name but prove and get the attraction of love from this nun girl it sounds so stupid stupid and dumb but work i don't know if it worked for adults like again i was a kid i was at the right age to watch this movie so it still works for me because it brings me fond memories but i don't know maybe other people who haven't when that's 40 years old i also don't think natural is a really likable character like the reason i even like him is because of jack black but the character himself is not totally the best his drive and passion is good but he's a bit kind of a, like loser a little bit like doing the impossible find out the realities of wrestling that you're gonna get your ass beat and you have to be the best of the best to be on the top and they don't have that until the end for nacho but that reality be 
idea what Cook thinks. He's essentially an embodiment of a failure to the very end where he proves himself that he's no failure and he could be the top dog and be who he is. So there's a match between Nacho and the main gold mask luchador. Most of it is Nacho getting his ass beat, doing submission hold. Nacho even gives him a wedgie at one point. This luchador disrespects Nacho, taking off his mask. Because of that, it's more of a driver force to beat down this new luchador. But it's not until he sees that girl, that one girl, that nun that he really likes, that he gets fired up. He gets this ovation of power or whatever. It's really dumb. And then he like overpowers him. He goes on a turnbuckle and he flies. <laughs> him literally flies to him forget about this thing where he literally just flies to him and then pins him for one two three and he wins and he gets this big moment and i'm sitting here thinking this is awesome but ridiculous i also kind of love it so he's now the top dog of the wrestling world in his city kind of gets the girl that he wants by the end right now all the kids love him he's not sinful no more whatsoever by his church he gets everything he's wanted since he was a kid clearly i really do like this movie it's not a movie i would like think of re-watching nowadays but because i watched it as a kid it brings me very fun and just really relaxed memory of when i had no actual responsibilities whatsoever so nacho libre 15 years later still holds up if you watch that as a kid screw it i'm gonna say it holds up if you enjoyed this movie you enjoy it. if you don't you're just wrong no i'm kidding it's not gonna be for everyone so that's it for me this has been the road so far and thank you for watching